Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy KP here, and today we are back, baby. Ultimate Vertigo Guide updated for 2019, heading into 2020. I knew Valve would update this map, and recently they just did with the Shattered Web operation. Now, before this video starts, please hit that subscribe button down below. We are very, very close to 5,000 subscribers, and hitting that by the end of the year would be absolutely insane. I'd be very happy. Anyways, I know you guys enjoyed the last guide, so let's get right into this video. Getting right into it, we're going to start off with smokes on the T side. First up from T spawn, you're going to want to break these windows and then crouch down on this rightmost battery symbol. Crouch down until you can't look down any further. Make sure your crosshair is in the middle of the battery symbol. Stand up and place your crosshair above this air conditioning vent on the line directly below the window. I'll zoom in on that if you guys need to see that. This is a jump throw from spawn. Simply plus your jump throw bind and the smoke will land on the right side of the air conditioning unit or the generator on the B-bomb site. Now going along with that smoke is going to be just to the left of it on the left battery symbol. Stand in the middle of it as well. Place your crosshair so you cannot look down any further. Stand up. Again, this is another jump throw bind and you want to place your crosshair right where this wire and the air conditioning unit meet. Right where they touch in the middle. Place your crosshair right there. I'll zoom in if you need to see that and jump throw. This is going to smoke off the left side of the generators and it will create a, a smoke wall when you're trying to enter into the B bomb site. Now from outside B, this isn't my most favorite smoke but it is here if you need it. If you want to smoke off the mid window, simply crouch down on this dot and uh, Valve has placed these convenient dots just for us. Put your crosshair on the dot above the window and this is just a simple left click throw. And that's going to smoke off the little gap in between the mid window so you can't get shot at when you're running up this lane. Now from the B staircase, these smokes can get a little tricky since the staircase now touches the wall. But I'll go ahead and show you the favorite ones that I found. First up, from the middle of the box, place yourself along the line. Turn around. Put your crosshair here on the corner of the beams. And left click throw. That's going to again smoke off the mid window. It's uh, my preferred way of doing it just because I find it lands more consistently and it lands faster. Now for the wall smokes from under the staircase, the first one, you come to the right side of the box and line yourself up just on the corner. Turn around and find this cloud shaped like a triangle or an arrowhead. Simply place your crosshair on the left side of the triangle and left click throw. That's going to be the left wall smoke for the back side of the site. Same smoke we threw from T-Spawn, just from the staircase. Again, just like from T-Spawn, we have the other left side wall smoke for the B-Site. For this one from the staircase, you're going to walk up the staircase right on the left side of this box. Turn around and line yourself up with this S-shaped cloud. Again, these, none of these clouds ever move, so you can always use them for lineups. Place your crosshair right here at the bottom of the S. As you can see, there's this little gap in the cloud right there. Place your crosshair there, and left click throw. And that's going to smoke off the left side of the generators from the staircase, just like we did from T-Spawn. So again, you get the same smoke wall effect, just throwing from here. Moving over to the A bomb site, they've actually widened the gap of back site, so you can no longer cover this with just a single smoke. To fix that, we're going to need two lineups to cover the whole site and be covered so we can get in there and execute the bomb site. The first smoke you're going to need to know is next to this 51 sign and in this corner. Place yourself in the corner and put the left side of your crosshair so that it touches this bar and the bottom of your crosshair so that it touches this balcony. I'll zoom in so you can see this better, uh, what I'm talking about. You place your crosshair right here on this balcony and left click throw. That's going to be the back right uh, smoke for the A bomb site. now that you need two smokes to cover it. I'll show the other smoke right now. The second smoke for the back of a bomb site. Place yourself in this corner by sandbag so you're not exposed. Look up and place your crosshair right to the left of this, this square balcony and this bar. I'll zoom in so you guys can see this. But you simply just left click throw. And that's going to be the second smoke for the back of a bomb site. It's going to cover off the left side. So combined with the smoke from earlier, that's going to smoke off the entirety of the back site so you can get in and plant. 
Here's a fun bonus smoke I found for the A bomb site. If you want to e try executing deep and pushing into CT spawn, you can actually throw this smoke for heaven. Simply place yourself in this corner of the scaffolding and place your crosshair right below this bar. Just a little bit below the bar, doesn't matter what crosshair you have, you'll find the right lineup and you simply left click throw. This is going to smoke deep towards heaven position and allow you to try and wrap into CT. So for example, if you want to fight this with your team, you can do that. Moving into the ladder room position, I found some very interesting smokes for the A bomb site. These smokes would work great for a pistol rush or if you're just trying to get the bomb down. For the first one, you're going to want to find this line and line yourself up right here. The best way to find this lineup is find this big dark crack and move yourself to the left until the darkness goes away. Make sure you can't look down any further and stay crouched. Look up while still staying crouched and find this thin line above the big bar. From the middle of it, place your crosshair just to the left and left click throw. Now this smoke is going to leave a gap on the right side, but you'll see along with the other smoke I have, it is designed perfectly. So the second smoke from ladder room is on this corner of this wall. Again, make sure the glass is broken, line yourself up, and simply place your crosshair right on top of this thin bar on the bottom. So find this thin bar on the bottom, find this line right next to the building, and just place your crosshair right on top of it. Left click throw, and you'll see that this smoke also lands a little bit closer on the A-bomb site, but more in front of the boxes. Now what I meant by using these two smokes together for a strategy is if this one lands here and this one lands here, your team will be able to rush in, find a kill through this gap and plant the bomb down right here without being exposed to back sight. You'll see that if these two smokes are up, you cannot be seen from the jump up position and you cannot be seen from heaven. These smokes would be perfect for a rush or a fake if you want to throw a fake from ladder room. Alright, moving into mid, we just have a few more smokes to top off the T side. The first one's going to be from these pallets. Place yourself in this corner and find the big wooden box. Put your crosshair right here on the corner of the box and this is going to smoke off the mid to A entrance. So as you can see, if you wanted to run your team through mid and towards the A bomb site, that smoke is going to allow you to because it blocks off the CT position. Now for the mid to B smoke, I don't really like this one very much because I don't find it practical and you're going to be very exposed while throwing it, but if you want to know it, you simply place yourself in this corner of sandbags, look at this pull, and left click throw. That's going to smoke off the mid to B uh, entrance and allow your, your, yourself and your team to wrap through CT, but again, I don't like it just because you can be shot from so many different places and you're super exposed while throwing the smoke. That's going to do it for smokes on the T side. I'll show you just very quickly a couple Molotovs and flashbangs for T side that are going to win your team rounds or net you guaranteed kills. Now the most important Molotov on this map has not changed. The Molotov for mid sandbags. Simply line yourself along this corner of the wall. You can be anywhere standing here. Just make sure you're lined up with this corner of the wall. Now simply just walk until you can see this opening in the left window. Place your crosshair on this bottom bar of the left window, in the middle, and left click throw. If you've lined up correctly, this Molotov will bank off the back of the wall and perfectly molly the sandbag's position. Now, I, I again, this is the most important Molotov for the T side. I don't know how many times people have just died to this position from an opera or just a rifler playing here. The second most important Molotov for T-sided players on New Vertigo is for the jump up position. We all know that CTs love to play here and it is very annoying and hard to clear. To get rid of him, we're going to flush him out with a Molotov from this position. Now while you're throwing the backside smoke for the A bomb site, you can also throw that and then line up the Molotov here. It's on the 5, turn around and place your crosshair in the middle of this orange slab at the bottom of the crane. Hold it and jump click throw. And that's going to perfectly molly off the jump up position. Now remember to have a jump throw bind. That Molotov will not land without a jump throw bind. Moving into flashes, I'm going to show you some quick and easy flashes that are going to help your team win rounds. From the same position we threw the window smoke for B site. Place your crosshair just to the right of this dot so it bounces off the window. That flash is going to pop 
just through the window and outside the stairs so any CT playing aggro or playing aggressive up here will be full blind from that flash. From the ladder position, again, the same lineup we had for the A bomb side smoke. Place your crosshair in between this square gap and left click throw a flashbang. That flash is going to hit any CT player that's trying to go aggro towards the ramp. As you can see, it pops right there. So any players trying to peek this, trying to swing this early in the round are going to get hit by that flash. The final thing for T side is going to be this flash from mid towards the B bomb site. Make sure you have sandbags clear and this corner clear and then set up for this flash through the mid window. A lot of people forget that you can throw things through here, but I found an awesome run throw flash that pops just on the B-bomb site and it'll destroy anyone holding an angle. Simply place your crosshair a little bit above this square and then run throw. You're gonna need to practice this one a lot. It takes a lot of tries to get down and to be honest, it's still kind of inconsistent, but if you hit it just right, it's going to destroy anyone on B holding. As you can see, this flash is going to pop perfectly. They'll have no chance to turn because they can't see it coming. And it pops just above B. So anyone holding these back positions is going to get hit by that flash. And they're going to eat it for breakfast. Now switching over to CT side. Again, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to show you smokes, Molotovs, and flashes. I'm going to try and keep it to the most important ones that I think you'd actually use in a game. Starting off from CT spawn, you can throw this aggro B smoke from this corner. Place your crosshair above this light where the bar meets the uh, the top bar, where this pillar meets the bar. I'll zoom in just in case you need to see it, but this is going to be a jump jump throw from CT spawn, and it's going to land aggro on the B steps. So you'd use this smoke, you'd tell someone to throw it off spawn, and the other person would run up and try and take a fight very early on and get control of the B staircase. The same type of aggressive smoke can be thrown on the A bomb site if you want to go aggro as CTs. Line up here on this wall in the elevator room. Place your crosshair just above this light where the middle line intersects. I'll zoom in if you need to see this as well. And this is going to be a run throw and you want to release just as your crosshair leaves the light. So as you can see, this one might take you some practice, might take you some tries to get down, but if you do it correctly, this smoke will land deep on the A ramp, allowing you to go aggressive with your team and get control of this part of the map. Something I love to do is to get into this corner quietly and wait for the smoke to fade, and I guarantee you, you'll always find a kill using this play. Now, besides aggressive smokes on CT side, the two other most important types of smokes for this map are retake smokes. We all know that Vertigo has a ton of retaking involved because this map sometimes sucks. So let's go over those retake smokes. So for B site, it's going to be really easy actually. Just make sure that this position and these generators are clear before throwing it because you are exposed. Line yourself up in this corner where these, uh, this barbed wire, whatever you call that, the fencing is along this pole. Just place yourself in this corner, corner of the big building in the background, and left click throw. Super simple, very easy retake smoke. So as your team goes in for the retake, you can't get shot from this opening in the front side of the site. It's going to force any T trying to defend the bomb site. It's going to force them through the smoke, or it's going to force them into this angle. Now moving on to the A retake smokes, these are a bit harder simply because the gap of ramp is much much larger so you're going to need to use two smokes to cover this off. Make sure that your B players save their smokes for this retake and the first smoke is going to be from again this corner in CT spawn. Find this pole on the very right of the building or the balconies, this pole right here, place your crosshair at the very very bottom and jump throw. That smoke's going to be for the left side of the A ramp to retake this bomb site. As you can see, it's going to land right there and allow for another smoke to cover off this portion of the ramp. That second smoke is thrown from the construction slash heaven area. Again, this is the second retake smoke for A site. You want to place yourself in this corner, look up and find this bar pointing out from the building. Place your crosshair to the left of the bar and left click throw. That's going to be the second retake smoke for the A bomb site. As you can see, it's going to land there. And when the first one lands here, if they are thrown together, they completely cover off the ramp and your team can retake and start defusing the bomb. 
The final smoke I'll show is kind of a bonus smoke. It's just the aggro smoke, but instead of from CT spawn, it's from the B staircase. Basically, you want to make sure that this is clear before you peek. And then simply move to the right of this. So line yourself up with this block and move to the right. And then place your crosshair here. It's the left of the window where this line intersects with the top line. Left click throw. And that's going to smoke off the B entrance from the staircase instead of from CT spawn. So if you want to fight this with a teammate late in the round or you want to take control of it late in the round, you can simply just throw it from here and not have to go all the way back to spawn to throw that smoke. This Molotov is going to go perfect with that aggro B smoke, whether you throw it from CT spawn or from this position. Simply move to the right again, place your crosshair here. It's on the, sm the smudge, this dark lines on the wall next to the 51 and run throw. That Molotov's gonna land perfectly on this this uh, gap, this empty part. So if anyone does try and run through the smoke and fight this, they'll be burning in a Molotov while you're shooting them. The final two Molotovs that are most important for CT side are gonna be retake Molotovs combined with those retake smokes. So the first one for B bomb site, we all know that this position is one of the most annoying to clear out. This is quad. Uh, if a T is behind here, it's very hard to clear out um, when going for the retake. So to get rid of that T in that position, line yourself up at this part of the wall next to the hard hats, just this corner. Place your crosshair here above the sandbags on the second line. This intersection above the second line and jump throw. That Molotov is going to land perfectly in the back, forcing any player hiding from this position to swing out and peek you. Now what you want to do is when you throw that Molotov, tell your other player who's next to you to just hold for his swing. And when the Molotov lands, he's forced out into your crosshair and you shoot. So just like for B bombsite, there's a perfect Molotov for the A retake. We all know again that this sandbags position is one of the most annoying positions on Vertigo. Whether you're a T or a CT, trying to clear this position is complete AIDS. So when going for the retake on A, you simply want to line up a Molotov in here over by this corner place your crosshair below the bar right above this box and run throw that molotov is going to land perfectly to completely flush out a player behind the sandbags allowing you and your team to go for the retake starting off if you want to go for a pop flash play tell your friend to sit behind the sandbags position and line up this flash for him. When he hears players running up the A ramp, this flash is going to full blind any player coming up. Simply crouch by this light. Shout out to Envy for this flash. Place your crosshair along this bar and left click throw. That's going to perfectly flash. It's going to be a perfect pop flash onto the A ramp, blinding any player looking at this vicinity. Your player from behind the sandbags can then peek and go ham. One of the most common angles I see players holding mid in the new Vertigo is this angle right here next to the elevators. People watch mid and spot the sandbags from here and here's some good pop flashes for this position. Anything off this box will allow you to swing and shoot at the same time while the flash pops behind you. Anything off this haystack will be a very obvious flash but still allow you to peek and get information. A good pop flash is from behind this wall, line up with this line. This is going to be a left and right click throw, so a middle click throw right below this light. Flashback. Run forward with the flash, and by the time it pops, you'll be ready to shoot. The final flash and the final nade of this new updated Ultimate Vertigo guide is a very creative pop flash for the B bomb site. Whether you're playing solo or with a teammate from behind quad, I think this flash could be very useful. I haven't used it in a game yet, but please let me know down in the comments if you use this in a game and if it helps you out because I think it's pretty nuts what it does. There's no consistent lineup, just make sure you're looking at this back generator and place your crosshair a little bit to the left and under this triangle. Simply throw, and the flash will pop just in front of this pole right here. As you can see, for T's entering the bomb site, they don't have a lot of time to react to that flash. They maybe have a quarter of a second to turn from that flash. So it's a very good pop flash you could use. If you hear them on the steps, line it up really quick, throw, and peek with it. Or have a teammate behind sight, or a teammate behind quad. Throw the pop flash 
and have them peek and get information with it. I think it's very creative, and if anyone uses that flash in a game, please let me know down in the comments below. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. New and improved, updated Ultimate Vertigo Guide. I pray that Valve does not update this map anymore, because I do not want to keep redoing and redoing the guides. But, this was the most requested thing in my comment section, and I did want to make you guys happy. I know you guys enjoyed that last one. The love on that video was very, very insane. I really, really appreciated that. If you want to see more map guides from me, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. We're coming up on 5,000 subscribers, which would be absolutely insane to hit by the end of the year. And it would really, really make me happy. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you enjoyed the guide. Let me know what your favorite smoke was down in the comments below. And I'll see you fucking next time. Peace!